Hi all, Jo here again. I'm coming back today because for those of you who joined me yesterday, and if you didn't, you might want to just pop back and look at yesterday's. We used a lovely stencil from Lavinia Stamps to create a background for bring the card back in. So this was yesterday's card that we made. And while we were creating this background, we had a couple of freebies where we cleaned our stencil. And the freebies we got were, I'll just pop them in, these two here. So what I thought I'd do is create this design here to show you what I've done with one of those extra backgrounds. Because quite often, um, I do find when people are demonstrating, they say, oh, put this to one side, use it later. And often uh, the workshop lady sort of says to me, well, how do you use it? It's no good just saying to me, use it later. Um, can you give me some ideas? So I've just come up with this. Lots and lots of uses for your background. And I'm sure you'll come up with, with uh, lots of things. I just felt we needed some nice, simple stamping here because this background is so beautiful. Almost reminds me of a, of a wallpaper. So if you want to grab yourself a coffee, nice biscuit, maybe a piece of cake, or maybe a cup of tea. Are you a tea drinker? I must admit I'm into decaf. I don't know if it makes any difference. I have had less headaches, but I don't know if that's just coincidence or it's just me thinking that I'm going to have less headaches. But whatever, it's working. So I'll have a decaf, please. Bit of a latte girl myself. Decaf latte. Mm. It's the way to go. So... What we did yesterday, this was the stencil that we used and we've got our, our clean up and it's very simple really, You don't worry, you, coffee won't even go cold today before I've finished because it won't take long at all. So what we're going to do is first of all, now obviously you do get two of the backgrounds, one's got more detail um, than the other and I don't know which one I'm going to use because I like them both. What I'll do in that case, I may actually use both backgrounds. What I'm going to do is stamp. Now I've got a little piece of card here and this is so good. I think it's about, well I can measure it, never mind about, I could tell you. Five centimetres by 11 and it's an off cut. I keep my off cuts and I'm sure you're the same. So what we'll do is stamp it up first and I'm going to use... This lovely stamp from Lavinia called Wildflowers. Now, as you know, you get the printed acetate. So again, look at that. I know that's going to fit perfect. So I'm going to stamp in black. Again, I'm using the VersaFine ink. Lots of light tapping. Just to clean this area up here where I've... Just check it can again. I just turn mine to the side just because it's easier for me. Oh, another Eric hair. Bless him, he think he did the crafty and the amount of dog hairs he leaves around. And yesterday we had one on the gel press, didn't we? It is a silhouette, so I'll give it just a couple of minutes for the ink to soak into the card. Peel that off. Yeah. Just such a lovely stamp list and so useful. And I'm just going to blot that a little. Now, I've also stamped my sentiment. I stamped that already. And this is a lovely sentiment. A time to reflect on one's life and hold what is close to our heart. Now, I thought this would make a good generic card. If, especially at the minute, if somebody's having a difficult time or, you know, just, just send it to somebody close. Just, just because you can. Now, I've edged this one with my, my Sharpie pen, which I'm going to do to this as well. But what I'll do first is we're going to add some ink around the edges. So, while the ink's drying on there, we'll do it on our topper. So, I'm just going to use for one of the greens that I used in the background, and it's this crushed olive. So, circular motions... And again, I'm going to start in the corners because that's where I want the most of the colour. And just nice circular motions all the way around. Again, moving the card around. It's really good if you can train this hand 
to be one of those lazy Susans. So apologies to any Susans watching. And again, look at that. I've not even needed to re-ink. I'm just picking the ink up off my mat here. And I think that'll possibly be enough for that one. But it just frames it beautifully. So I'll do the same to the other and then we can decide. We'll just ink up once. Now this one's got more white space on. And I am a fan of white space. It's nice to have a card that's got a lot of detail, but there's something stylish about white space as well. I know a lot of ladies are afraid of white space, but sort of the more cards you make, the more you'll get used to it. See, again, I love the way that frames, and then you've got a little bit of white here, draws you in. I'm happy with that. So, we'll go on to the... I'm going to pick this ink up here. I'm a big one for using this ink that's on your mat sure we've got enough to go around my sentiment i want it all to match you see so i'll go around my sentiment see if we've got enough here i may need a bit more yeah i need a bit more for this and i'm almost going to just shape so i'm going to come in so i'm almost shaping with the color so on this one i'm not just going around the edge i'm specifically I couldn't speak specifically bringing the ink in to follow the shape of the flower So again, let's pick some of this ink up. Yeah, I like that. Now, what I will do is, if I just spritz this, I've got some ink on there. And again, to use that, let's just pick a that, bit of that up and just flick, add some flicks on here. Now, because it's quite watery, it will fold bleach as well. So that'll give a nice effect. And we'll just add a little bit onto these backgrounds, just to tie it in and add a few. I do love my, my splats. Sorry if this is going off camera, I just don't want to put my card in where the ink is. So I'll just bring the other one in. Just add a few. Again, they're not something, I don't want this to, to shout at you, these splats, but they just become part of that background and it just ties the whole design in together. So we'll clean that up. And I'm just going to quickly whiz my heat tool over this one. Maybe just blot it as well. I mean, at home you would let it dry naturally. Again, remember to dry from the back, it'll flatten your card out. say you would take more time at home so are you doing much crafting at the minute how are we doing i know some some ladies have messaged to say they've lost the mojo if you've lost your mojo why don't you start by doing like a small piece even making some toppers just making some little toppers like this look through your stamps that's the other good thing have a look through your stamps and just see what jumps out at you what inspires you Sometimes, I mean, I find silhouettes lovely because this, I mean, as you know, I love my inky backgrounds. So I could quite happily just add ink and then stamp the silhouette. But even just maybe find some off cuts because if they're off cuts, there's no pressure then. If it doesn't work, well, you know, I mean, chances are it is going to work. But if it did, what if you lost? It's an off cut. So, you know, just I think a lot of it is, is just getting yourself back and not having that pressure. I know when I have to make design team samples, I love doing it, but sometimes it can be pressure, especially blessing when our lovely abs from uh, All and Create messages on a Saturday night to say, can you have some samples at the telly by Wednesday? And you're thinking, OK, it's Saturday night. I've got my grandchildren here for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, of course I can. <laughs> but again, that, that's part of being on a design team. You just have to get it out the bag, get it done, get it sent off. <laughs> but um so that's working under pressure or 
my youngest, or our youngest, I should say, Mikey, bless him, he's great at phoning me up and saying, Mum, can I have a card? And I'll go, yeah, of course I can, mate. I'll make you one. When do you want it for? Oh, uh, could you actually make it? Can you write it for me? I'll send you the address and can you post it today? And again, that's pressure. So sometimes I think it's nice to actually not have any pressure and just go in your craft room and craft for you, craft for fun. Just like I say, look through your stamps and have a look and go, oh, I love this stamp. As I say, it's like this one, I love it. And go, right, well, what can I do? Shall I make a bright background? Do a clean and simple card. Just have, have fun. And like I say, create something just for you. Now, whenever you do this, do remember to clean your ruler. Otherwise, the next time you pick it up, you'll have black on your hands. So, we've got our two. See, I just think there, even if you've got these, or like I say, it, it maybe get some of your, your, your waste pieces like this, your clean up pieces, add some ink round, add your black, and then have a look and think, what can I do with that? And again, I think as you're doing it, the fun of actually doing this will help you then want to create more. So on this here, I'm, I am funny. I don't like basic stems. I know a lot of people would leave it like that, which is fine. Honestly, it's however you feel. For me, I've just got to add a bit more foliage. Sorry, Tracy, I know you designed them with, but just for me, I just need a bit of that. And I know I'm funny that way. That looks actually that that looks better. I don't like it even. It was a bit too even. So that's that bit done. Now what I'm thinking is now for me, I'm not keen on it directly in the middle. And again, that's up to you if you do. I'm thinking that would just go lovely there. And I'm liking the sentiment here. So I like it on that one. And let's have a look here. We could even put it that way, couldn't we? Although, I do like it that way. Oh, do you know what? I wonder what little Pippin. Oh, oh, just bear with me. I've got him under here. There's a thought. Now he'd look better this way. Let's see. So if we put that there, right now that's let's try it that way. No, I don't like it that way. I'm thinking and stamp. Yeah, let's have a go at that. Do you know what? We'll have a go at that. If it doesn't work, it don't want matter, will it? So if we right, let's put Pippin on there. So if we have that there there and we stamp him now what I'm thinking is I'm going to stamp him first and then I can map my things around him it's easier that way isn't it oh, let's just let me just clean off as you know I do get ink everywhere so just clean off these sides right so I'm going to stamp him there Worst case, if I don't like it, you know, I'll just put that topper over and we'll go with the original plan. But again, that's the fun of crafting, you know. Just, it, it doesn't matter if you stamp it and you don't like it. I always say that with words at workshops, you know. If you want a sentiment on a, on a card, have a go at stamping it on the card. And if it doesn't work, all you do is decoupage it because nobody will actually ever know whether... I mean, in this instance, I was going to decoupage it anyway, but nobody would ever know. And again, it shouldn't be pressure. We're supposed to be enjoying ourselves. Says me, who's shaking like a leaf before I do any of these videos. Right, I've just got a little bit there where I didn't. So where's my, um, out with my pen, and I'm just going to touch, there we go, that's better. So I'm thinking if I put that there, put that there and actually sit him and what we'll do so we'll just add underneath him just so it all matches a bit of that right where have I got some tape just put a couple of bits of tape on here so 
not quite like the original but it gives you another option doesn't it just gives you an idea but that's the way it goes with crafting so let's think so if we put that so i want that across there don't i although i like that there let me think yeah i want him looking up at that so we'll pop that there and then i can pop that actually i might not overlap that or do i i quite like it overlapped i do this at home you know talk to myself so much no i quite like that one yeah we're not going to overlap it but before i add that what i want to do is i'm just going to add some white posca pen and what i'm going to do is just add some highlights onto this and we've done this before it's amazing how the white really just makes you don't need much look but that just makes that black pop even more and then i'm just going to add some flicks just a few you don't want too many a couple on there yep yeah. and let's just go for a little bit on his nose a little bit on his ears and on his tail and the reason I've done that before I've added my sentiment is I didn't want any flicks on my sentiment it's just me being me it's not as easy to control your flicks and again for me I just didn't want any on the sentiment it's such a lovely sentiment I didn't want to obscure it so I'm thinking no I like it at the base there So, and all I would do is, I've got a piece of white card, yep, pop that on the white card, and there we go. Another way of using that background up, and here's the original, that's the one I was supposed to be doing. But it just shows you, with those backgrounds, and I've still got another background to stamp up. I mean, I may even just put a sentiment in there. But what I'll do is I'll leave you with those two for today. Thanks for popping in. I hope you enjoyed it. Please take care. Okay, thanks everybody. Love and hugs. Bye for now.